Welcome to Sparta, Georgia. Tonight, we're going to talk about breastfeeding. This is the Spiritual Development Channel. We're going to help you grow, become a positive person, a strong person, and we're going to talk on some good issues and topics. But today, let's get right into the point. Today, we're talking about breastfeeding. Now, what does the Bible speak about breastfeeding? Well, we're going to Genesis, the 21st chapter, the 7th verse. It talks about a great feast and celebration that our mother Sarah... Now listen, mothers, this is, this is something you might need to hear because this is talking about the earliest part of development of the human child, and you're a part of it, and you're the most important part of it. So Mother Sarah, who is a queen of royalty, she raised her child up and breastfed it, and they threw a party when the child was old enough to eat regular food. So this is how revered this was in the Bible. This was something that was so profound, so beautiful, that they enjoyed it. They, 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 they love raising a good, wholesome child ready for this world. But the Bible on the flip side also speaks about not breastfeeding the child. We go to Lamentations, the fourth chapter, the third verse, and it says, even the sea monster draws out the breast to give suck to their young ones. The daughters of my people are cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness. It says even a sea monster will give suck to their children, but the daughters of my people are cruel. Now, why is that important? Because today in today's society, we are so busy. We are on the internet. We're working two jobs. We're traveling back and forth from work. Sometimes we don't feel that we have that time to connect with our child or connect with your young loved one, the baby you just had, and give it that intimate feeling. Because when you breastfeed a child, their first two years, they're feeling vibrational frequencies and energies from the mother that is showing them a caring sense. So now if it's outside the mother and you're bottle feeding it, they don't get that same connection because they don't get the vibrational feel as if they do if they're breastfeeding. So it's very important. And that's why the Bible speaks of it as being so cruel. But they use the word ostrich. Now in Leviticus 11, they call the ostrich the takamas. The Takamas. The root word is Kamas, which means violence. The reason why is because the male ostrich is very violent to their young. So now, there's a correlation between not breastfeeding your child and being violent to your child? Think about that. That's something to think about. It. Now, why is it so important to breastfeed? We have three key ingredients. Three key ingredients. You got DHA, which is Dacosa, Hex aonoic acid, not hard to say. Then you got cholesterol and we got lactose. Now let's break down each one of them. We're going to be real fast. So the DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid, right? Which is good for brain growth, development, and maintenance. Very important. And the cholesterol is good for brain development. Now with the breast milk, you get cholesterol, but the infant milk, you don't get the cholesterol. So, the brain is not developing so good with that canned milk that you're giving them, right? Then the last ingredient, which is the most important ingredient, is the sugar, lactose. Anything with an oats on the end to it is a, considered a sugar. That lactose is broken down into two sugars, glucose and galactose. Now, galactose is good for brain tissue development. And these two fats together, they create and they manufacture the myelin, which is the sheath or the covering, the insulator that's on the end of the brain neurons to send messages. So now that brain is starting to kick off that, 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 that breast milk that we have. This is something beautiful. So now your children are growing up with sharp brains that's going fast. Now they, they understand how to maneuver. Not only that, ladies, if you have a male child, them organs get bigger down there. Think about it, because it deals with tissue growth. Now, I want you to think about this. The more intelligent the mammal is, the higher lactose is in their breast milk. The more intelligent the mammal is, the higher lactose is in their breast milk. So humans have the highest amount of lactose in their breast milk of being a mammal. What is the Latin? Breakdown for the word ma mel, 
from the word mama, which means breast. So you say mama, mama, breast, because mammals breastfeed their young. And it goes into a whole bunch of times where the human brain developed based off a fatty diet, but I'm not going into that, right? So how many years should you breastfeed your child? It's a good question. Three years according to the scriptures and according to the Apocrypha, Maccabees 727, 2 Maccabees 727. Now the camel is an animal that carries individuals over places where they can't make it themselves and it makes sure that they survive. The word higmal, root word is gimel in Hebrew. Higmal means to breastfeed. The gimel is a camel, but it's the number three, which symbolizes or implies the three years of breastfeeding. The Hebrew language is so beautiful when it's done right, right? For the first three years, your child develops cognitive, linguistic, social, and motor skills. All of these things are very important in that first three years. Now, in the first three years, your child's hippocampus is not fully developed, so they don't have a memory of most of these things. But every time in the first two or three years, your child touches, hears, or sees things, they create or have a neuron connection. They form pathways in the brain. And anytime the action is repeated, that action becomes a part of their lifestyle, their way of thinking. Now we're gonna let that truck go by for a second. So now these things become repeated behaviors of the child. So now this is why it's imperative. The first three years, ladies, breastfeed your child and take care of your child. Be careful, don't give them off to caregivers because that cognitive skills, their thought process is based on the caregiver, the person who's taking care of them. So I would suggest to you, while you're pregnant, figure out ways that you can generate income doing something that you like and you can spend more time with your child. Breastfeeding is the beginning of early child development. And ladies, I think that it's important that you do this. And one more thing, since the hippocampus is not developed, a lot of times the child doesn't remember what happened to them to form them to think this way. So a lot of times when a mother is abused or a father is abused, these children form a fear of the opposite sex and they don't remember and think they're born like this because their hippocampus, which processes long-term memory, is not developed. Take care of your child. Early child development, if you expect a mother, congratulations. Breastfeed that baby, love that baby, spend that intimate time with him. Spiritual Development Channel, peace.